made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture this shows on her channel. Welcome to Hochanda's Easter Extra Flexi event. Join us from 6 p.m. Thursday, the 9th of April to 6 p.m. Tuesday, the 14th of April, as we'll be offering you an extra special treat to help ease the cost of your Easter purchases. All of your crafting favorites will be here with us, celebrating the Easter break by demonstrating and showcasing their latest products. So, not only will we reduce the flexi basket value from £60 to £30, but you will also be given the opportunity to spread the cost of your purchase over three exciting flexi buy payments instead of two. So, get cracking and take advantage of our Easter Extra Flexi event from the 9th of April at 6 p.m. on this Easter Sunday I hope you're well maybe you've got all of the chocolate going on we love the chocolate or maybe you don't like chocolate but you're gonna make yourself something who knows but happy Easter today right we've got some um, fabulous designs for you here fabulous patterns uh, daisy chain of course um, and we'll be seeing some wonderful demonstrations a little bit later on don't you just love a toadstool? There's something that's quite magical and fairy-like about them. Now, this is your Woodland View toadstool pattern. It's number two, but it's new today, I believe. There we go, new today. And look, so that is the, um, the picture of, you know, what you'll be able to make. And here it is. Here's a little sample that we've got pictures for. Oh, that's cute with a little gnome. You do actually get the little gnome which is adorable i'll show you in a second so if you'd like to make, oh look at that look at the detail isn't it gorgeous really really nice look at this oh there's a little fence more toadstools ah that is adorable love it now as well as your pattern which can i say let me just have a flick through here because this is comprehensive right you've got a se section that says you will need so some extra things so obviously, so obviously with this with the kits to keep the cost down we've popped in what you need but then you just a few extras that you'll probably already have at home uh, and then you can see what you'll need and then you've got your ingredients that you get here also that i'll show you in a second but look how comprehensive this is i'm just going to turn it this way full full instructions so i bet even a beginner could do this so have a little flip through there you go it talks about your applique etc uh hang on at the back we have also got look i mean look how much how, how wonderful this is to follow this is great and then where's my templates here we go they've been done for you any minute i'll get that i'll get there there you go there's some of your templates i just wanted to show you that look even down to look even down to the wall on the left and the right how good is that so it's all there for you now you're also getting your felt let me pop this down and your embellishments i must show you the gnome but here you go you've got that wonderful felt you've got the smaller bits you've got the nice bright reds and yellows and then you've got your deeper greens that's quite a nice large piece actually there we go for that deep green look there hang on let's open this out nice piece of felt oh it's ever so soft as well this felt really nice let's pop that back like so now also you're getting your embellishments and i must show you the gnome let's empty these out i must show you the gnome so you've got your butterflies and whatnot and little flowers to embellish yay but here's the gnome here's the gnome here's the gnome cute oh my goodness now already a third oh, apparently this is norman the gnome according to baker uh, already a third of the stock of uh, this kit has gone 
It's a eleven pounds and ninety nine pence two seven four three zero four. Do get ahead on the website. We've got other kits available, um, but it's always quite nice to link up with what the demonstrator has done. Uh, so let's take a look. I believe this is Sue. Is it Sue we're seeing? Excellent. Sue, uh, if you're watching from home as well, happy Easter to you. Here's uh, the uh, uh, demonstration that has been sent in. Here we go. Hello, welcome to Daisy Chain Designs headquarters. You've never seen this before <laughs> and most people never do see it because this is where I send all of your orders out. So welcome. Um, in these strange times, we're obviously doing our own videos and today is no exception. So first of all, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, on behalf of Gail and Sue, we're delighted to be back on Hochanda. And today we've got some very nice, exciting new projects that I'm sure you're going to like and I'd just like to talk you through some of them. Uh, we're going to start with the latest project which is the second in Gail's toadstool cushion sort of set that she's been working on. So this one is called number two Woodland View and I'd very much like to show you the cushion and the great thing is we can just show you some of the lovely detail on it as well. So here is the cushion itself laid out nice and flat. This obviously would normally be a cushion, um, but just for the sake of, of ease of uh, photographing it, and I think you can see it a little bit more clearly if we keep it without its cushion pad on, I just wanted to show you some of the lovely details in here, and I'm going to demonstrate just some fundamentals of how to make this cushion, because it is lovely and easy, um, and I just think it's absolutely charming. So just some of the lovely little details here is, if I just move back, can you see the little leaves are slightly three-dimensional here so you can just flap that back and hidden in the, the leaf roof is a little attic and then as we work our way down you can see we've got the lovely sort of leaf striations and then we come down to the actual little toadstool or leaf house itself complete with a little open door uh, window of course you have to have a gnome in anyone's garden and outside girls even done lovely little details here like the little bell pull you can see and as we travel outside of the house we've got this beautiful little uh, 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 wall here that she's um, made and then little fence and then lots of little toadstools flowers butterflies and it's just absolutely delightful so this is the second in the series and for any of you that's missed the first one, I'm going to just quickly bring that in and show that one to you as well. This we featured in our February show, and this is called Number One Woodland View. So they're both available um, today, um, and uh, there'll be the code numbers coming up on the screen for those. And they're both starter kits. So both Number One and Number Two include all of your felts that you need for your applique and the little butter, uh, the little felt embellishments here, the little flowers, the butterflies and the tiny flowers. But the actual choice of the cushion back is up to you. And we have also included in the show a choice of three wool felt colours and you uh, buy half a metre, which is exactly what you need for the cushion. Um, so this is the green uh, the felt colourway. Uh, today, with number one, uh, number two woodland uh, view, this is the grey background, and then the next one for next month will have a blue background. So it's entirely up to if you want to make them all grey, all green. It's entirely up to you how you want to work them. But the options are there, or you can obviously make it out from your own fabrics. So in your kit, I'm going to just put this on top of it, and then you can see here. Um, and again. Um, uh, there's a, a setup at Hochanda, uh, so you can see them there. But you are getting all your felts and then the embellishments. But also included in, in the little starter kit is this little um, piece of paper here. And for anyone who hasn't used it before, this is called freezer paper. And the wonderful thing with freezer paper is, I'm going to just bring this in in front here, is it's a waxy film. And it's used, it was used, it was used a lot, I believe, in wrapping up things that go into the freezer. But us quilters, are quite a clever lot and we've actually devised a use for using it very well for applique. Now you might be saying to yourself why on earth is she using paper? Well in your pattern you've got all of your templates here so you've got your little tree stump, the windows, the window sills, and with it being applique everything is built up one on top of the other. Well if I asked you now to paste your felt 
over the front of that you wouldn't be able to see through it to trace it so the beauty with the freezer paper is you can see through it to trace your designs if I just put that paper over there can you see it's so easy and Gail's very carefully uh, put every wording under everything so you know which piece goes where so I'm going to just quickly show you you trace on the non waxy side so here I am doing rather a wobbly job of it as you can see I won't win any prizes for art in this class <laughs> and then I'm going to just bring it along here like that and that is my window traced now what I'm next going to do is I'm going to cut in fact I'll tell you what I will just do beforehand and I found this quite helpful when I was doing the preparation is I'm going to just move it away and I'm going to just write the window on it because the idea is you trace all these little pieces uh, individually onto the uh, freezer paper and then you cut them out roughly so when you actually sometimes are trying to identify them when you're coming to put them together it's not always that easy so just don't cut it out on the line I'm going to just cut it out very roughly around the edge like so and then just trim off that little bit. I I've been a bit um, silly, really. I should have taken this slightly more to the edge. But there you are. You can see I've just traced it off roughly. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my felt. And here's a little thing I've prepared earlier. I'm going to just move this out of the way. Is I would lay the window piece. As you can see, I've already prepared one here on part of my little sheet of yellow here like that can you see and then all you do is because the other side is waxy when I place a, a light iron over the felt it's going to just temporarily hold the piece in place which means I can then cut it out perfectly and not having to worry about any lines or not being the right size or anything now we do say in the pattern it's a good idea to put a little pressing mat um, over the or a piece of paper or, or just a piece of fabric over the top of where you're about to iron because this is acrylic felt so it doesn't really like a hot iron and you do need a little bit of heat just to get the uh, freezer paper just to set to set it but because I'm obviously um, just trying to do this so you can see I'm going to just quickly just use the tip of my iron but you can start to see straight away that it does sort of start to stick down quite nicely and I'm just going to just do a little blob there and it's just a temporary glue so it's just there just temporarily just enough for me to cut it out but the beauty with the freezer paper is you can use it over and over again so once you've um, cut it out you can peel the shape off keep these all together in a little envelope and then if you want to make number two uh, woodland view again you know you've got all your freezer paper uh, pieces already prepared and ready to go so the next one will be much much easier so I'm going to just quickly cut it out roughly and my little scrap of yellow fabric that I've got and I probably should have just spent a little bit more time gluing this down as you can see but you get the idea I'm sure and now I'm going to just carefully cut it out on the line and it's just such a useful project to have as you can see here we go and I'm going to just take it the other way there we go, it just hasn't quite caught at the edge. I'm going to just put my little nippers back in here and just finish it off nicely. Whoops, and there we go again. It's very weird not having a presenter here to chat to, I have to say, being here on my own. <laughs> and if I peel it back, there you can see, that's the window piece ready to go onto my toadstool. So I was just finishing cut, cutting off the little stump and I thought rather than cut the whole thing out, I prepared this one earlier. So I'm going to just finish by cutting out the actual tree stump and then you can just see how easy it is now the other great thing is just to tell you is Gail has um, readily reversed all of these templates for you so that means that you don't have to worry about uh, turning uh, when you come to put it down it's all done on the other you just put it down on the other side and it comes the right way out however if you want to make your window this side and your door this side you can you can make it the opposite way around to how girls done it it's entirely up to you so now you can see again the beauty of the freezer paper this was ironed down with a little bit more time and a little bit more care and I just peel it back and the beauty with it is it doesn't leave any residue so it's perfect and ready just to put straight down onto my felt cushion so I'm going to just get my felt piece out now this is one I had earlier prepared now 
scale suggest in the pattern that you sort of start about four inches up and about four inches across. So I'm going to roughly eyeball that and put my little tree stump about there. But you can just take your time and don't worry about it uh, too much. Just, just take your time in prepping it all so it looks all nice because obviously the roof's going to go on here. We've got the wall to come across here. And we also, of course, have to allow for enough space for our seam allowances to go top and bottom. So that's roughly where she suggested it. And I just think that's not a bad place for it to be. It looks quite equal to me. I might just move it a tad over that way. You can just play with it to your heart's content. The next thing I'm going to do is just secure it down with some glue, or you could just um, pin it if you don't have any glue, just a light glue, just to hold it in place. And the next step I'm going to now show you on our next demonstration will be how to do some machine quilting. Lovely, so if you are just joining us, by the way, thanks Sue for that demo. We've got another two demos this hour. Um, this is your uh, Woodland View number two. It is your cushion that you'll be able to make. That's the pattern, I should say. You'll be able to make that. And then you've also got those um, wonderful extras. So there you go, that's your cushion. And the extras that you're getting are all of those wonderful pieces of felt. And you've got your embellishments and... What did we call him? Norman. Norman the Gnome. There you go, that's what we're calling him. <laughs> it's not his official name, but it is for this morning. Um, there we go, we can show you some pictures of some samples. Uh, right, 70% of the stock gone. Again, it's a really good price point at 11 dollars 274304 of the stock has gone. Now, we've also got some other items. We're carrying on the toadstool theme. This one is number one. Again, you get that fabulous pattern, fully comprehensive. Tells you what you'll need. Uh, you'll get your templates, etc., etc., in the pattern. And again, you've got all of that lovely felt for you, which is, as I keep saying, it is super, super soft felt. It's lovely to touch. And then the embellishments. Look at all those wonderful flowers and um, butterflies that are in there. Sweet, really gorgeous. This one again is eleven ninety nine. 971145. Again, we've got some more pictures to show you. Yay, that's what it'll look like once you've finished it. It's pretty, isn't it? I love all the detail. I love like the stonework and all of that. I think that's really cute. And all of the embellishments and flourishes. Very gorgeous. Now, this one is a slightly larger kit. Uh, again, you're going to be able to make your toadstools. Uh, full instructions, but look at all of this. Oh, it's lovely. Is this like a, it's like a fleece, isn't it? It's really nice and gorgeous and soft. You get a good big bit of this, actually. Shall I open this out? Let's just open this out. Nice big piece of um, your felt. Look at that, big piece of the red. I'm never very good at folding it back up. There we go. And, of course, your uh, white fleece. And then freezer paper, you've got your... Uh, other bits of felt, nice. And then you've also got your, and they're, they're cut for you too. And you've also got, again, another little pack of embellishments that you'll be getting with this kit. £17.49 for the kit. Item number then is 939167. Um, again, we've got some pictures for you. Oh, look, look on the washing line. That's sweet, isn't it? I like that. That's adorable. Um, so it's like, is that like the front of the house and the back of the house, possibly, like your back garden? I love the shape of the door as well. Really sweet. Okay, as I said, 1749 at 939167. Then we move on to um, the long and short of it. I like the name. Look, you'll be able to make these cushions and you've got a very long sausage dog. I saw the most gorgeous sausage dog being walked yesterday and he was he was so obedient, it was lovely. Anyway, sorry, I'm diverting. I love sausage dogs, they're my favourite dogs because I like the way they, they flip-flop their... Because, you know, their legs are so short and they've got big paws so they sort of flip-flop. Anyway, right, so we've got your instructions and then you've got all of your gorgeous spotty fabrics. Look at all of those. Marvellous. There we go. Oh, I'm hearing, I'm hearing noises. There's an update in a minute. Look at these little charms. You'll get those. Sorry, that's really tiny. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it says made with love. Getting a couple of those. I'm trying to hold it really still. Excellent. And you've got a little bit of 
felt there also. Um, so for your sausage dog <laughs> lovely cushions. Look, this is so fun, isn't it? Uh, £12.49. pence. Each of the instructions also tell you what else that you'll need. So obviously you're getting the little charms that you can see on his ear and that nice dotty dotty fabric. 1249-493541. Okay, coming back to this kit. What, what, what? <laughs> we are limited stock. Okay, eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence limited stock. Two seven four three zero four is your item number. That's probably going to go. Mm. Oh, okay, bless you, bless you. No worries. Uh, we'll just show you the pictures again. <laughs> so there's a lot going on in the gallery this morning. At uh, twenty past seven this morning on this Easter morning. Good. Oh no, happy Easter to you and. Uh, Maybe, uh, maybe you managed to get lots of Easter eggs in and you're going to enjoy those. Wow. It's supposed to be a nice day too for the majority of us, so yeah. Lovely, here are some pictures again of the finished samples. I love that you get the gnome. You do get that little gnome button in there also. Uh, 11.99274304 is your item number. You can give us a call 0173360 2000 or check out on the website at hachanda.com. Now, we've got some hot water bottles for you. You've got a choice of colours. You've got the white and the pink, or the cream and the blue. Uh, I also am seeing that you're getting a little bit of uh, hook and loop in there. Uh, this is lovely, again, lovely and soft. Oh, this will be so nice to snuggle once you've made it. You've got your materials too, and then, um, just going to the instructions, let me just have a little look here. Again, it tells you what you'll need. Oh, I love it, it says, uh, snuggle up with this sweet little bunny hot water bottle. Alternatively, why not make it into a nightdress case? Oh, that's a good idea. Or better still, have one of each. Oh, but look at, the little, look at their little faces that you'll be able to make. Finish size will be 16 by 18 inches. Brilliant. And again, it's got your full instructions all in there. Um, it, it, your templates, all sorts. There you go. Uh, each option is fourteen pounds and forty nine pence. Three eight two three zero two is your item number. Look at what you'll be able to make. How sweet is this? I love the floppy ears. Ah, oh, that's gorgeous. Look at it. Oh, look at the little faces. Oh, that's so cute, isn't it? Love their faces. So it's the white and the pink and the cream and the blue that you can choose from. Okay, we have an update on the Woodland View number two. Yeah. Okay, right. Technically, we are sold out. Okay, um, that means that all of the stock is in your basket. You just need to make sure you're checking out. If any bounce back, we will let you know. But thank you for your purchase. Coming up next. Ah, look. This is the Three Fairy Crescent. I like this. Look at the, li look at the different ones that you can make. Oh, I'm loving these. And of course, as you can see, you're going to get the felt as well, the nice pieces of felt here. Uh, again, it'll tell you everything that you need. Um, and this uh, lovely pattern is 11.99. I like the, um, no, sorry, 11.49. I like the, um, just the, the design of them, the shape of them. Yay, 11 pounds and 49 pence, 621039. Again, here you go, you can see the finished samples. These are like little pin cushions that you could, you could make. And what's nice about these is you can actually take the tops off. Oh, so you can put things in as well. Look at the detail. Oh, <laughs> look at that detail, gorgeous. Uh, 1149, Then we move on to, oh yes, yes, this is the laundry van. You get the pattern and as you can see, you're gonna get the hanger. Look at all that detail. Again, the, um, the uh, what am I trying to say? The patterns are so fully comprehensive. How good is this? 999-005760 is your item number. And there you go. That's what you can make. It's really sweet. There's so much detail in all of these patterns, isn't there? I mean, these are great projects, you know, while we're at home at the moment, while we're indoors, these are great projects to be, you know, 
crafting along with and again really good price point as I said £9.99 005760 so you get in the pattern and you're getting the hanger and then with any fabrics that you've maybe got in your crafty stash um, you can be using up that's nice because you can use your scraps actually now don't forget we are in our extra event our Easter extra event uh, flexi so if you spend uh, so basically your 60 pound flexi basket has now been taken down to 30 pounds and we're also offering three flexi buy payments on a lot of items instead of two uh, phone lines are currently very busy and so your fastest way to order is online at hachanda.com okay right we've been able to get some more stock back um, is it of your woodland view number two it'll be dispatched from the 20th of April so it's on a little bit of an extended delivery uh, again you're getting that full pattern you've got all of that wonderful felt there uh, you've got your embellishments Whee! and you've got Norman the gnome hashtag not official name <laughs> I love that we've called him Norman there you go I, can't, I, I love doing a close-up of Norman he's very jolly isn't he he's a little bit Santa Claus wouldn't you say maybe it's Santa's elf who knows? Uh, 11 99 then. It's on extended delivery uh, from the 20th of April. 274304 is your item number. Uh, next up then, we're going to see another demonstration from Sue. Hello again. Right, we're ready for demonstration number two now. So I'm sticking with Woodland View, which is our new uh, project for this show. Um, and I thought what I would now do is spend some time just having a little look at the detail again, um, because what I want to show you is some free machine quilting. Now, Gail has done quite a little bit of free machine quilting on this lovely project. For example, all of the bark here that you can see that she's defined, that's all been done by free motion, as has making the little door uh, frame here just to catch that down the door itself the little door knob here has all been free machine quilted the little windows the door frame and then all the lovely details just outside of the cushion here so she's just sort of run some little vines running around and again that's all been done with free motion quilting you can also do the leaves the same way um, but it looks to me like she's probably used her uh, normal uh, walking foot or just a normal uh, foot for doing this with a normal straight stitch but this is a great opportunity if you fancy having a go at free machine quilting but you've always been a little bit scared or not quite sure what to do so I'm going to just take you through the basics um, now I will just also stress you absolutely don't have to do this if you just don't want to have a go it's not your thing that's fine we can think about some alternatives so one idea is if you don't want to actually machine the bark why not use a pen and just highlight it with a pen that obviously like a, a nice pen that won't uh, won't rub off or, or bleed out so just check it first to make sure but you could always do some bark shapes in the in the felt with a pen that's the first option then if you need to secure it what I would then recommend you would do is either some sort of little zigzag stitch or a buttonhole stitch or you know even a little fancy stitch on your machine if you fancied it and then just work around the edge because you will just need to secure it because girls done such a lot of detailed stitching in here this is actually what is holding the tree stump down but if you really don't feel like doing it please don't but if you'd like to have a little go then I'll take you through some basics of how I how I do it um, and the other thing I'm also going to just show you is a free motion leaf and then to finally finish off we're just going back down here to the little wall and how Gail's just created this nice little this illusion of little stones like a dry stone wall here so there's just three different types of machine quilting that I'm going to go with you now so if we just move over here if you go I just uh, mark your attention here back again Gail has drawn out on the diagram some ideas of how the bark could go um, but it's absolutely you know your choice so don't feel you uh, will have to follow her but I think it's quite a nice guideline and it also gives you a nice idea of the scale of it so I'm going to just move that out of our way now and look at our sewing machine so in order to prepare ourselves for free machine quilting what we have to do is disengage or drop the feed dog so here you can see my feed dogs are well below 
sew where they would normally sew and I've also engaged my darning foot onto the sewing machine as well that's to guide me so I can see and also so I don't stitch through my finger which I have done once and it was extremely painful so I, not to be recommended now when you drop the feed dogs you are actually in charge of the stitch so if you don't move your work at all it's going to go absolutely nowhere and if you move it too sort of exaggerately then it's going to make a great big long stitch and I'll show you exactly uh, how that works on here so I'm going to just put the piece of uh, work that I just finished on the last demonstration I've just held it in place with some pins or you can use a little glue stick or a glue pen just to hold it in place it just helps and I've also here just sort of marked on and just glued on where the window will go and I've just again just put a little piece of yellow felt where the door will go and the girl says in her instructions you don't need to sew this bit at all um, you're going to have the door frame that will cover it and the door so this is just uh, just to give an idea so just to start the quilting, um, I've used a black uh, thread because I really, really want you to be able to see what I'm doing here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the needle down and I'm going to bring it back up and I'm hoping that it's going to just catch the bobbin thread at the same time. OK, and I've just brought that right the way back up. And if I pull gently, yes, you can see here's the bobbin thread. Um, I've used a, a green and I've used a much darker thread than I would normally use because as I said I think I'd really like you to see it. Now what I want to do is the reason I brought the bobbin thread up is I don't want to have a bird's nest on the back and it can sometimes affect your machine quilting so you've got your top and your bottom thread together and I'm going to just find the little point back where I went in and just hold it in there okay and I'm going to just do a couple of stitches on the spot and I can get my foot down that's it oh silly me I know what I haven't done I haven't put the foot down there we go <laughs> see even doing demonstrations it can go wrong okay I've engaged my needle to stay down in my work if you have that facility on your sewing machine it's a very useful feature if not just bring the, the flywheel round so when you actually stop sewing your needles down and you know where you are now these threads I no longer need so I'm going to just snip them out the way like so and that just gets rid of them okay now I'm going to start off and what I thought might be quite nice is to sort of have a go and I'm defining the stitch so as I said to you before if you don't sew at all it's going nowhere and if you sew too big you get a great big long ugly stitch so I would just take my time and I'm going to just sort of make it like it's a little knot in the tree and that's going to give me a little a little path of where to start and as you can see I'm not really being particularly precise I'm just having some fun and then I might just go all the way down here and then back up again and the great thing with free machine quilting as you can see is I am actually in control of the direction of the sewing so I want to go left I can go left if I want to go right I can go right it's entirely up to me and the beauty of this is because I'm just defining bark it doesn't really matter if my stitches aren't straight it doesn't really matter if I go off on a little wobble and can you see now how it's just beginning to take shape already now what I probably wouldn't want to do on a scale like this is make the bark too big or, or my knots too big because it will look a little bit ugly I think so I'm gonna just happily stitch around and I'm really enjoying this it's very it's very sort of freeing just to not have to work with the constraints of following a line of anything at all like that and I'm going to just go down a little bit more and that would be exactly how I build this up and I might put a little knot in again here for fun and then take that up and then back down again and then I might come down a little bit further but I'm controlling the stitch I'm controlling the speed with my foot. I never sew particularly fast. I get in a bit of a muddle if I go too fast. So I just tend to find my own little happy speed, which is about where I am now. And you can see, I think you'll hopefully agree that it's starting to take shape and look quite nice. So I'm gonna just stop for a moment and just show you how the bark can look. Now the next thing I'd just like to share is how to do the little diamond uh, pane on the window. So I'm going to just lift my work out of the sewing machine. Obviously do be careful if you come across a pin um, not to, I'm going to have to just, sorry, move my hands into the way just to get the thread 
up on the bobbin thread down that's fine and I'll secure that off later okay now to get the diamond pane if you have a look on Gail's finished uh, piece of work she's done a little piece of um, like a sort of diamond window pane here so what I'm going to just do is just sort of flick the thread under oh sorry do that that way that's it so just be sensible <laughs> more haste less speed and this is going to get covered by the window frame so again i'm going to just oh i've ruined it now look i'm going to come down and just bring my bobbin back up again thread bobbin thread back up again now this time oh it hasn't taken hang on i'll tell you what i'll do see it goes wrong even when you're videoing sometimes <laughs> right let's hopefully we'll get it back up again this time yeah it's caught it i can feel it Oh, no, it hasn't again. <laughs> Third time lucky. It doesn't want to play ball with me. I think I've lost my bobbin thread. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just stop sewing for a moment and I'll come back in a minute when I've got my thread re-engaged. And we've got on screen for you some pictures of your uh, Woodland View number two. Uh, it is £11.99 pence. You get the pattern, the felt, and you get those lovely little extras and the gnome, Norman. 274304 is your item number, and it's going to be dispatched from the 20th of April, so it's on a little bit of an extended delivery just because we've already had one sell out. Um, now, we have for you, right, some half metre wool felt. Let's open this up. Right, you've got three colour choices. This is your grey, it's a nice big piece actually half meters there you go just so you can see i always think that's important if you want to stock up do you know it's got a good weight to this while i'm feeling it it's, there's a really nice weight to it let's uh, pop that one back then you've got your blue there's your blue again really nice weight to this and then your green i like this is like a mossy green that's like an oxford blue and that is like a french gray uh, as I said, you've got a half metre of your wool felt fabric. Each option is just £9.99. Item number is 307031. Uh, but you do have your three options there, yeah. Right, okay. Um, now, we have got uh, some patterns for you. You're going uh, gonna to like these. Uh, so you've got the princess and the unicorn liking this. You have a little flick through. Let me pick this one up. Okay, so this is your princess. Look, it's a little carriage. Like Cinderella's carriage. That's sweet, isn't it? Again, it'll, t uh, it'll tell you everything that you need. And then if I turn this around, as you can see, uh, again, they're so good at putting the um, instructions together. Really nice and comprehensive, easy to follow. And you've got your templates too. So they're all there for you. Look at this nice size actually you can see there let me try and get back to the beginning all right so that's your first well you're getting both i don't know what i'm saying your first option you're getting both that's your princess and then if i pick this one up again let's have a look at the unicorn <laughs> he's so sweet uh once more it tells you what you need but look at those look at their little faces and again you've got full instructions you've got the big template here let's open this up there you go, big, big template there for you. Uh, you are getting the both, as I said. Now, this has got a cheeky freedom discount. We have taken it to £12.59. pence. So there's your princess, that's what you'll be making. I love all the gold. That looks really striking. And here's our unicorn. Oh, look, that one's going, gone to sleep. Oh, that's sweet. £12.59, pence. as I said, if you're a freedom member, 795909. <coughs> Next up then, we've got another pattern. It's called the Chocolate Drop. Now you can make a quilt, cushion and bag uh, out of the pattern and it also has your fusible webbing. There you are. Nice big piece actually. Good big piece. Let's open that up. Yeah. Good big piece. Um, again, full instructions. Really good. Okay, so as you can see, you can melt, me melt. I think I'm thinking about chocolate because it's called chocolate drop. Uh, quilt, cushion and bag pattern. £9.99. Let's take a look. We've got some uh, wonderful pictures. I'm liking this. 
Look at the little cushion. Look at the back. Um, I'm just looking. I like that sort of um, raggedy effect. I always think that that's quite nice because it's very tactile, actually. Uh, nice. We can see our cupcake. And uh, look at that. You've got the uh, rug as well. Oh, so sweet. I'm liking the fabrics that have been 